go. Execution to perfection. The All Blacks lay down the challenge. Desperation time. Oh, Addy Sabir. Thank you for coming. Head coach Ian Foster will open up with a few words before taking some questions. Uh, yep, look, we're just, uh, we're, we're delighted, I think, to come here and um, it's an opponent that uh, we have to, we know we've got to prepare really well with. Uh, it's always a tough test match um, and a test match historically that, that we treasure. And to come here and to, to play the way we played, uh, very slippery conditions, even with that roof shut, it actually made it a little bit harder and condensed the game down a bit, but just love the patience that we had. And I thought Wales stayed in the game for a long period and really had some moments of putting us under pressure, but we rode through that. So some great leadership and just control and some few key moments and meant we had a, had a good score line at the end. So pretty pleased. Far away, folks. How much of a relief is it to you to work at this? Tore off to a, a positive start then after one or two ups and downs earlier in the year? Well, I'm not sure it's relief. I mean, every week we just get excited about playing a test match and um, get excited when we when we do things that we really want to do and, and we and we show growth. So that side of it's pretty pleasing. And it's um like I said, we've been building nicely through the, the second half of the rugby championship and made some good strides and um, doesn't matter, you know, and, and we really wanted to start this part of our leg off and, and uh, not drop a level from there, so pleased with that. How far are you doing things at this stage with the World Cup in mind on this tour as a whole? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, but it's, um, you know, test matches are about the here and now, and and for us it's always been about getting that balance between looking to the future but also knowing that um, every match is vital and so you know nothing prepares you better for for 12 months time by playing well and and, and having good results now and there's some good stuff for us here. And Sam your impressions of the, the challenge this last match you've just been through? Yeah it's exactly that it's always a, a massive challenge coming here and uh, tonight was no different the uh, the physicality I thought was right up there and it, as Fozzy said it was a little bit dewy out there which seems funny under the roof but um, I think that actually suited both teams it, it made it to be more of a, a carry physical focus and I know there's going to be some sore bodies but I, I think the, the fans would have loved seeing some big collisions and, and some uh, some good work at the breakdown. Can you just talk a little bit about Arnie Sevea and, and how well he's playing at the moment? Playing pretty good. You know, he, um, he uh, you know, for someone who hasn't played for a while, um, he didn't show any rust out there at all, did he? And, um, you know, he carries strong. He, he, um, you know, he's, he's pretty an inspirational part of this, this team. He, he leads uh, really, really well off the field just through his actions. And, um, you know, I think when you see a loose forwards play like that, it's always going to be reflective of a pretty dominant pack up front. And I'm sure he would say that too, but it was a pretty strong collective effort up front, and he was able to uh, put a little bit of icing on the cake. Is he a guy who's best when he's got a smile on his face? I mean, that, that, has it, have you seen him do dummies like that many times before? Yeah, yeah, he sucked me in on the training field too, so they shouldn't feel too bad about that. But no, he just likes to express himself, and um, and we quite like it when he expresses himself. Um, yeah, well, look, I don't. I'm not sure there's a correlation between Richie's return and, and Aaron's form. Um, you know, because I think. You know whether it's Stephen or Bodie or whom I think Aaron still does what he does, but he he certainly controlled things well today, and and you know I'm not sure whether you know it or not, but that that he broke the record as he's now the most capped All Black back, and so today was a pretty special um, occasion for him, and to 
just to show off with a couple of meat pies would be pleasing for him. He doesn't score too many, and those little legs had to run a long way for that first one. But um, look, he's a massive part of our team, and, and when he gets a flow on it again, it's it's he will say it's really reflective to the ball that was delivered up. And there were some stages that uh, Wales really made that hard for him, but um, uh, I think we overcame that. Yeah, I think any team that defends really well, you're looking to get the ball back and you want to get the ball back to score tries. So it's something that's probably uh, taught to us from an early age and it's something that we're just trying to grow at the moment as a team. Um, you know, if we can turn the ball over, sometimes it takes a while for teams to, to click into their defensive structure. And, um, you know, if you've got guys like Artie, Aaron, um, who are playing really well, they're seeing opportunities and they're hurting teams because of it. Um, oh, it's never in the rear view mirror, is it, on this stage? You, 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 that's the world you live in, but it's, oh, I don't think it's motivated the team. It's certainly, we, we took some pretty tough lessons early on. We weren't ready physically or mentally after Super Rugby for that Irish series, and, um, and so, you know, we were well beaten. That's been pretty well documented, but since then we've, we've, uh, we've used it, we've introduced, uh, you know, we've, there's a few players we held back from that series who have come in um, and, and made a big difference and and I think there's been some nice building blocks with the future in mind so you know we're, we're still we're still building I, I still don't think we're you know we're not we're not there yet and but you know we've been tagged with inconsistency but I guess that's five in a row so we're starting to, to build what we want to build. Uh, no more than normal, to be honest. Um, but um, but the test matches are won and lost there, and and you know when you know in the last three or four years we've been we've been it's sort of been uh, it's been stated that that's sort of been a softer belly of our game, and and we've worked hard in that space, and you know the man next to me has been a big part of that, and. And we're working hard on that. So, you know, we, we want to impose ourselves physically through our forwards. It wasn't, you know, I don't think we went into, you know, potentially to play as much as what we did through them today. But, I, again, I just love the patience and the, of the leadership on the park to say, well, it's working and let's keep going. Sam, you were far more um, efficient than Wales when you got into 22 in terms of coming away with points. When, when you get into the the 22 line into that red zone does, it, does the does the psyche kind of switch do you, do you play differently when you're in the 22 in terms of carrying and phasing um, good question I think off the top of my head I'd say no but I think I'd have to have a look at it to, to make sure that I'm, I am saying the truth there because some people do get a bit excited getting close to the line they probably carry with a little bit more um, intent but that's something that we're going to make sure we do it right across the, the field the way we carry five out from the line should be the same if we're five from our own line um, that, that's my gut on it but I'd have to have a look to be 100% sure Ian, Cody Taylor's come in for you know, a bit of an up and down year um, how would you rate that showing today? Pretty good um, you know again I thought he built really well on his Eden Park performance and um, you know, we, 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 I guess we took him out for a couple of weeks just to just to make sure that, that when he came back on, on the stage that he was he was ready and, and confident. So he went away and took the lessons of a couple of poor performances, worked hard on them, and he's come back and he's he's just looking really clear at the moment. And you know, supplies great leadership up front, and and you know that that one-two punch with Sonny, I think, is a pretty powerful one. And it's you know we still we still love Sonny starting as well. So. But again, it's just about building options as we go forward, and delighted that uh, part of the 
puzzle was to get him back playing the way we know he can play. And speaking of puzzles, is the future of the second five jersey any clear in your mind after seeing another look at Jordan? Yeah, it's always clear in my mind. This is um, the first of, you know, a new family on tour for you. Um, how can we see the next couple of weeks go? And also from a housekeeping perspective, is there any issues within the squad? Is everybody uh, in one piece after the game? Yeah, we came through pretty good, which is pleasing, particularly, you know, first three tests, you, you like to get away with no injuries, so we um, didn't dodge that bullet last week, and, and, it, and, it, and it whacked us with Sammy and Colsey and with Brody. so um, to come through this week was important. Uh, we had a couple of guys playing in the All Black 15, and so they, they went well, and they've come back, and we, we might release one or two more to go back and play against the Barbarians and that team, so we're, we're in pretty good shape. Um, We've got an eight-day turnaround and back up to Scotland where you know a lot of our guys haven't been up there for a long time and, mm. and some of them probably haven't have never played at Murrayfield. So it's going to be a little bit of a new experience for us in many ways. And so you know we'll get excited about that in a couple of days. But right now it's we're just going to really enjoy because it, it meant a lot to us to play well here. Yeah, nice to see uh, Tottenham Park leading. Step in the Yep. Yep, it was nice. Do you expect that kind of performance after he sort of had to, I mean, he's obviously played a couple of games recently, but a little bit of time on the sideline as well? Yep, definitely. I think he, um, did I expect it? Yes, I did. I, I thought he showed that last year, and um, it's a bit tough when you're sitting behind the, the, the skipper, I guess, but he, whenever he's been asked to do what he needs to do, he's played well for us. And, and you know, he's, he's a different style of seven, but he was abrasive today, and... And again, he brings something different to our to our pack, which is, you know, which is exciting for us. You all done? You certainly seen that the win in your sales from this game going through the rest of the series. How do you ensure that you and all the rest of the players in the squad don't get any complacency going forward into the remainder of the test? Is there something you're going to ensure happens in camp? Yeah, that's one of the most critical things after a good win. Um, you've got to make sure we go back to, to zero. And the easiest way to do that is look at the side we're playing. Scotland are a great side. They've challenged a lot of teams this year. And traditionally, they're a hard team to play, especially up there at Murrayfield. So it's going to be really easy for us to reset, reset uh, back to where we need to to then start building the week. Because I thought we did that really well this week. So we've got to make sure we do it again. Just one last one for me. Oh, I'll keep that between us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Can I add one more thing, and that's just a uh, congratulations to Wayne Barnes on his hundredth test. He, um, it's a pretty special feat for a ref to, to put up with everything they put up, but but to perform at, at that level for so long. And um, look, he's been a pretty iconic referee, and, and he deserves a lot of credit for tonight mm -hmm. as well. Thank you.